Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Divinia, originally from Malaysia, and I'm currently a final year mechanical engineering student in France. The 11th arrondissement is the place to be in Paris today. It has so many bars, restaurants, and it is known for its rather young and lively vibe. So I've been living in the 11th for about five months now, and so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience living in the 11th arrondissement. Let's get into the video. Let's start with point number one, the neighborhood. Now, when you mention the 11th arrondissement, the first thing that comes to my mind is République or Le Canal de Saint-Martin. It's like the hangout spot in the area. Also, the 11th is not very far from the center. I would say that it is very, very well connected, especially in terms of public transportation. It usually takes you around like 10 to 20 minutes to get to famous spots in the center. Having lived in the 16th previously, I would say that this aspect is a huge improvement because I used to take minimum 30 minutes to get anywhere from the 16th. It's also a very lively neighborhood and honestly a bit too lively for my taste. There are literally bars and restaurants everywhere like 10 to 11, 12, I don't know how many there are but there are so many down my road because I live um, right next to Rue Oberkampf which is a very lively area as well. So when it comes to restaurants, you have a huge variety of cuisines. There is Korean food, Lebanese kebab. Speaking of kebab, there is this amazing kebab place like literally one minute away from where I live. Now this kebab, this kebab, let me tell you about this kebab. It is the kebab that all other kebabs want to be. It is not just a kebab, it's a gourmet kebab. So if you're ever in Paris and if you're craving a kebab, try this one out because I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And if you do, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. The 11th also has a very hipster, artsy, creative kind of vibe. You have a few museums, art schools, pop-up cafes. So it's very young and stimulating, I would say. So I think that if you are a creative person, this is the kind of vibe that you might enjoy. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as that would mean the world to me. And if you're interested, do check out this video that I made about the pros and cons of living in Paris. Now moving on to point number two, the living costs. Now because it's the hot new area, rent is generally quite expensive. For example, I'm paying 950 euros for my apartment, which is about 19 meters square. And this is not including electricity and Wi-Fi, which is painful. But it was one of the best options that I had and because I was pretty desperate, I went for it. And also I'm getting to experience what life is like in the 11th. So if you're interested, I also made a video showing you my apartment. So do feel free to check it out. When it comes to food, you have a variety of options. You have like your everyday grocery stores like Franprix, Monoprix, Carrefour. You also have a lot of bio, organic, natural kind of shops and you also have Lidl and Aldi close by which is great for students especially. When it comes to eating out, your choices for restaurants and bakeries are huge. As I mentioned previously, in the onzième you definitely have the options. Point number three is the activities. So as I mentioned again and again, the onzième arrondissement is the place that people go to hang out. You have so many cool bars, bars, bars and restaurants everywhere. And because it's so well connected, you are literally beside Le Marais, you are not far from the Seine, you are near Oberkampf, which is a very lively quartier, and Canal Saint-Martin. One of my favorite things in the 11e is Atelier des Lumières, which is basically this immersive art museum where you have different exhibitions of famous painters, and basically the concept is they bring famous art pieces to life. So it's definitely a change from like your typical museums. In this Atelier des Lumières, you just sit down and you let the painting surround you and take you in. I've been there like three to four times for different exhibitions and I'm a huge fan, so I reckon you check that out if you're looking for a new experience to try out. Moving on, you also have a lot of pop-up and vintage stores. If that's your vibe, then the Onziem is 
definitely a place that you'd enjoy. So in conclusion, I would say that it's a very lively area with so much to do. And it's also very well connected to the centre. And it also has a very chill, hipster, laid-back kind of vibe. However, personally, I feel like it's too lively for my liking. I would like going out to the 11th, having fun, meeting friends, but I would rather come back to a calm place. And where I'm living right now, I wouldn't describe it as calm because I'm literally right beside Aubercon. So I think it depends on the kind of activities that you want to do in Paris and what you're looking for in a in, in the neighborhood that you want to live in. If you like being in the center of things, then the 11th is great. But if you're more like me and you like having a little calm space, then you might want to take a rain check on the 11th. But then again, in Paris, it's kind of hard to say because your neighborhood can change depending on where you are in the district. There are definitely areas in the 11th that are calmer than the rest. So I would suggest that you go to the area, check it out when you visit the apartment, see if it suits you and then make the decision. So we've reached the end of the video. I hope that it managed to give you an insight to what it's like living in the 11th arrondissement. If you've been here, let me know what you think. Can you relate to my points or do you disagree? Let me know what you think about in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!